What's up? I'm Junebug, your radical teacher. Today we're here um, down on Division in San Francisco. Welcome to KEXU 96.1, the poor news radio. And we're here today with Teresa in Memphis and some other folks out here that are dealing with houselessness and constant harassment and, at, and just constant dealing with criminalization. Okay. So maybe yes. you could tell us what's going on. Well, basically, the cops are just out here to mess with people and take all their belongings, throw it in the trash, instead of taking it and storing it. Um, we've had several incidents where they not only put us out in the elements, but it gets, you know, that's like attempted murder. They're putting you out in the cold and everything else, and I feel like they should be charged. Yeah. Oh, where do we begin? I yes. mean, do we start off with the five o'clock in the morning unnecessary wake up and shift uh, from one block to another block? Or after they finish taking away your structure, right. any means of like actual keeping warm, uh, that is now being outlawed and tagged and, and supposedly tagged and back, but they're being thrown away or stolen. Okay. Um, we can go into depth about how the cops are abusing it, all types of fucking laws neighbors are helping them. I, I, there's a whole can, litany. Can I ask you to articulate a little bit more? When you say a structure, what do they call oh, the structure? Okay, a structure to them would be anything that can make a house or housing like thing. Anything that basically keeps you warm from shelter. Now, I find that interesting considering that a shelter would be structure, but yet it's allowed to have a said shelter. Right. Example, a man in a wharf decides to make literally just one sheet out of the wall, out of the rock. Right. It's cool. If we used to do the same thing here, we get fined. In fact, they have this one, two, three law now. Is yeah. the first one, you get a warning and all your information is taken. Mind you, DBW can be present and have your information as well. I find that kind of weird and illegal. <laughs> yeah. Um, Thank you. Second warning will then come with a uh, ticket, and then the third one is arrest. Now, the ticket is not a regular ticket, it is a misdemeanor. Uh, and that right there is what the legal beagles are really trying to, like, hone in on because that's illegal as fuck. Like, you can't just sit up here and try to give someone a right here, misdemeanor because three of those is a what? Right. Yeah, navigation is Okay, so tell us about They say they just build more yeah. of these navigation centers. Oh, yeah. That's the answer. Navigation centers are really, really out of hand. Uh, they don't control anything there. They don't... Uh, have medical staff that's qualified. They don't have uh, the people that work there are not qualified to handle situations that happen there. Um, people are paying to get in the bathrooms and stuff due to drug use. To do drug yeah, use. Being raped um, yes, there's rapes going on there. Um, the staff does not intervene with the clients whatsoever. You know, they're hardly there, and they're living in tents. They live in a tent, a giant tent. Case at the navigation center where somebody straight up like overdosed two, and died. Two. So there's two, two incidents. One of them I happen to know very well. Thank you. Michael. And um, that was a really, really close friend of mine. And he had, there was no reason for him to even have it in his system, let alone that much in his system. And no one did a thing. They sat up here and had this boy in the middle of the floor convulsing and heaving while everyone sat up there and wanted to know who was going to play patty cake by, like, oh, oh who's going to have a call, who's going to call. Not one bit of training. Narcan training. Thank you. Narcan so Narcan training is something that every place, uh, health center, navigation center, should, in fact, everybody just in the public should be Narcan trained. We have an epidemic in San Francisco. The drugs are being laced with fentanyl, and it is a very horrible situation. We have a lot of people um, dying. That's one of the reasons why we're urging the governor to sign the uh, bill, the Assembly Bill 186, to have safe injectable sites. And so um, Narcan training is where if you see somebody overdosing, you can instantly give them the uh, Narcan treatment and it's uh, harm reduction and it prevents and saves lives. And it's atrocity that you have navigation centers with staff that are not Narcan trained. Um, well, how about training in general? Because if you're going to have any type of facility that houses over 10 people, you need to have these things. And these Thank things you. are immediate medical thank you mental thank you. and then security you need thank to know that there are some people here who are just not fit for that why because mental. there's a lot of mental things going on That's that right. needs to be addressed thank you. then you have people who are just simply addicted to the thing that means they are physically their body is going through shit and their mind is not agreeing you need to help that out there's so many facets that need to be actually addressed reality needs to be addressed yeah. 
Wait, this brother is going to say... Actually, oh, my name is Limonye Dillard. I'm also homeless on the streets. I've also been in Naviga on Navigation Center, and I, I see it like this. Um, I did one incident where my phone got stolen. I found the person who f got my phone, and of course, a physical altercation happened. However, I'm the one, the victim who got his phone taken, got kicked out, but the other person got to stay there. And I also, and I also heard um, about the Narcan. I also heard from a friend that they physically take the Narcan kits away from us. So if somebody is overdosing, we can't help them. So that way we're not liable if anyone has an overdose or tries to sell. But anyway, but I see like this. They, but your bathroom, dies, wait, your bathroom. Dying, if somebody's there dying, um, wouldn't you want somebody to save their lives than be accountable for their death? I'm oh, like that. sorry, we can't help you because, you know, we're not liable like that. We're not caseworkers. We're not, uh, what is it, uh, uh, caregivers. Because if you're a caregiver, you can do that. If you're not a caregiver, you can get fined, allegedly. Right. Right. Even though you can take their money. Right. My question to you guys. So we, as poor people, uh, have been houses on the street, spent my life up as a down, child, right? Down. You already know. We um, have worked for the last 21 years, and finally we got some liberated Ohlone, Lashon land, and this is all indigenous territory yep, that they, yep. the colonizers think they own. Hello. Yeah, all right. If you really Thank want to you. Get into it, if you all okay, okay. So, but if we, if y'all had some liberated land, would you like to build your own home? I we would, call it homefulness. Right here. All day. Right here. Okay. All day. Okay. And I so, would live off the land like my mama did, uh, and my grandmama did. Ah, shit. Ah, And so, in, in any other for the politicsters who might be watching about their solutions. I just want to say that housing is a human right and it's a health right uh -huh. and no one should be criminalized for the sole act of being homeless. Uh, recently, last week on the news, there was something in East Palo Alto where they're having parking lots for people who are vehicle housed. Why are we creating safe spaces for people who are outdoors who have to be out here trying to survive? And then you're taking their stuff, selling their stuff, stealing their stuff, and destroying their stuff. Right. And they don't even have housing out at the same time. This isn't right. I went through homelessness when I was a young child. I had to sleep outside. I had to sleep in a tent. Yeah. And you know, th this world we live in, if you, you can let a human being go without housing. You know, the, everybody should be put on trial for that. That's an atrocity. Oh. And you know, it's a human right to have access to a bathroom. It's a human a uh, right to have access to Everybody a roof. So currently know. right now, there's a petition also circulating here in the city and we're going to be having a meeting with DPW on making 24-7 accessible bathrooms, specifically in the Soma and the Tenderloin District. We also have something coming up on the ballot called Our City, Our Home, which percentage of that money is supposed to go towards helping people get housing. At the same time, we also have folks like, I'm just going to call it out, I feel like Scott Weiner and London Breed oh, are, yes. working, oh, are yes. working hand in hand and they're doing something called conservatorship and it's exactly. just like you're trying to take over people's lives. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? And you're trying to think that you know what's best for them well institutionalizing somebody or criminalizing somebody is not a solution to housing thank you thank you and as we always Amen. say in poor magazine change Amen. won't come from a savior Amen. a pimp or an institution Amen. change will only come from a yeah. poor people i have, that I have, some, I have, and I have something to say i have something to say to the people who up there like Obviously. think that homelessness is the problem i'd say like this you think homelessness is the problem you think we're the problem step one day in our shoes and oh. see how much problem we have okay oh. because i've been i've been i was born in the city came back to the city to die in the city. And I'll be damned if somebody tells me I gotta move out this city because I'm homeless. Forget that. Now, I'm speaking of which, speaking of which I'm um, Monday, 11, Thank from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m., it will be a city hall meeting. Okay. So that will be very important for everybody who really wants to know. Monday, October 1st? Uh, yes. San Francisco City Hall? That's fine. All right, thank you, folks. We love thank you. you. Rufus thank Radio you. signing out. We're out. Here's some poverty skulls up in this